As Uganda moves on implementing the National Development Plan for targeting economic transformation, the Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Monica Msenero, has called upon university deans to realign project assignments because many current research projects have not been positioned competitively on the market. This was during the 11th UNESCO Engineering Summit in Kampala. Look at the example of Chira Motors. It started as a student project. It's now a factory. One of the students is the CEO of that factory. So can we have that mindset? Deans come up with projects. Many times you are saying, oh, you see, but we don't have funding. What do you want us to fund? Former Vice Chancellor of Ndeja University, Dr. Professor Eli Blue Gonjo, emphasized connecting engineering students to practical field experience. It so happens that in Uganda there is no legal framework binding uni industries and universities. So you find out that students who want to do internship want to do apprenticeship, they don't have that opportunity to join some of the industries because they are not willing, they are not cooperating. The Dean of the Facility of Engineering and Survey at Indeje University, Dr. Henry Tali, has expressed the need for universities to unite in order to produce world-class engineers. Producing engineers, but also we are losing them to foreign markets. Eh? Some people find work elsewhere. There are people who appreciate our graduates and they go. Mm -hmm. So we need to train more but also retain them. Something needs to be done. It's good that's coming up. <coughs> the industry, faculty, industry, university relationship it needs to be uh, improved more such that we can quickly adapt to what the industry needs. The summit converged engineering consortium, deans and representatives from leading universities across Uganda to improve engineering education.